Hey guys, it's a little after nine o'clock. Um, I'm on my. I'm using my iPhone specifically. Um, let me show you why. We picked up something, probably one of our biggest purchases yet, uh, for the store. Uh, you know, besides the uh, stock that we have. So uh, here goes. And there it is. We have a square stand now for our iPad for the square register. We also now have a receipt printer and a cash drawer. Uh, we've been watching this probably uh, for quite a few months and uh, it's run about $600 and it got down uh, on sale to about $400 so we decided to pick it up. I think um, having receipts kind of legitimizes a little bit more I think. Uh, also having our money in an actual cash drawer instead of having them in a little box that we deal with I think also makes us look a little more professional. Alright guys, it's 1 o'clock around there. Uh, we're sitting at about $90, which isn't too bad. Um, we still got a few hours left. The Tinker did come in today. He uh, bought a couple things, some replacement cases, and he brought me back that big uh, tote of Atari joysticks, paddles, and the system. He got the system working, didn't even realize it's either a light or heavy sixer. Um, can't really tell, uh, and he didn't look at the motherboard to see what it said on it. Unfortunately, the white label underneath is missing, so without opening it up, we're not going to be able to know, but it's, it's in really good shape. He cleaned it up for me. It works perfect now. Um, all the controllers, with the exception, there was like 20 of them, all of them except four did not work. Most of them had bad cables, uh, and um, he got all the paddles working as well, so I was able to put another Atari system up, which is also pretty cool. Guys, uh, the same gentleman who brought me some NES games in last week brought me some more stuff. Uh, let me show you what he brought in. Here's the uh, NES games he brought me. He brought me Solstice and Hunt for Red October. They both work. He also brought me a couple of really nice ones, Super C and um, Nobagana's Revenge. I never can say that right. He also brought me three Saturn games, um, Sega Sports, that's uh, Worldwide Soccer. All three of the discs are in just horrible condition. This is not Crypt Killer. It's actually a, a better game. Fortunately, it's only loose. It's Galactic Attack. It's a nice shooter. And he bought me Bug 2. It's complete, but as you can imagine, the case is just in terrible shape. So is the manual. But um, I'm going to try to get these clean, try to clean them up and make them a little bit more presentable. I'll take them home, and if they work, I'll go ahead and bring them back out here, price them, and put them on the shelves. He also brought me an N64. Both controllers were horrible shape, so I only gave him like 20 bucks for those. And he brought me an original NES. Um, it's kind of um, not working real well, so I'm probably going to have the Tinker take it home clean it up and see if you can get it working a little bit better. A little after 6.30, we're heading over to see a friend hint at somebody in Pinellas Park who is filming their 100th episode today. Uh, so guys, stay tuned to that. I am going to actually walk out the uh, Mustang while I'm over there instead of walking out a aisle at the Big Top. So stay tuned for that. your games. The, 15 a piece or 3 for 40. Yeah, I can't do $15 a piece, unfortunately. But he did have some Xbox games. Let's take a look at these. What model phone is that? Any idea? Uh, Sprint. Sprint what? HTC, Sprint, blah, blah, blah. Okay. I'm trying to find a damn screen cover for mine. Oh, they're around, they're around. Uh, but, hey, I can't find one. Don't know yet. Nobody has my phone. Don't know yet. Same as that. Okay. Thanks, man. How about the Xbox games? 
350 a piece really isn't that great, but actually $30, there were 17 of them, that's like $1.77 a piece, which isn't actually bad, because there's some decent games in here, even though there are a few sports. Oh man. PlayStation game. I know. And your game. Mmm. Mm. Killing me. Oh, wow. Let's look at these. I know. Wrestling ones. Star Wars. How much are the, the ta these? these tapes? Yeah. These are two dollars each. Or oh, twenty bucks. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, for fifteen. Uh, fifteen. I for all of them? Yeah. There were actually like twelve or thirteen of them, so it was a little bit over a dollar a piece, which I could not uh, pass up, to be honest. What about your Wii games and stuff? So fifteen—that's four dollars a piece, actually. Okay. Okay. These over here are five dollars. I have over here my more expensive table. Okay. Okay. Yep, that was my wife negotiating a price. Uh, five dollars a piece for those games were just a little too much for me. She originally wanted sixty dollars for all these tapes. I think there was fifteen and sixty-four games. Uh, she went down to forty, and honestly, I probably should have taken that because there's actually a couple decent games in there. But oh well, live and learn. An F zero is that your price? On that one? Eight dollars. Eight, okay. We are back at the booth um, after visiting Scott over in um, Pinellas Park at the uh, Wagon Wheel Flea Market. Sorry I didn't get any uh, video with him, but I will be appearing on his uh, 100th episode, so that's the reason why I went over there. But while I was out there, as you saw, I walked and I picked up a couple things. Here is what I picked up. I picked up these original Xbox games. They were basically about $1.75 a piece. There's a couple good ones in here like Morrowind. And one that I am going to keep in my collection, thought I had it, but I didn't, that's the Capcom uh, Classic Collections. And as you also saw, I picked up some Texas Instrument games as well. These ended up being about a dollar a piece. Well, it's coming up on 2.30 now, and uh, we had a gentleman come in with his wife and bought about $160 worth of stuff. And we're not talking like a Retron 5, he bought three game systems from us, a uh, N64, a GameCube box and a PS2 and he then also bought a ton of uh, games as well which is really cool that puts us at about $400 now for today which is really awesome still got a you know maybe an hour hour and a half left uh, we'll see how to we'll see where that takes us guys all right guys for the wrap-up portion I'm actually filming the day I'm gonna be putting this up which is Monday night um, I tell you <laughs> on Sunday uh, afternoon when we left, my back was hurting so bad. It was actually the back and the front. I ended up going to a um, urgent care to see what was going on, and immediately she 
like poked on my stomach and it hurt really bad. They didn't have a CAT scan, so I ended up um, Sunday night from about 4 till about 8 in the emergency room. Nothing major. I um, forgot to mention that on Thursday morning when I was taking the trash out, you know, me being my clumsy self, I fell. And they think it was just a muscle strain, but I was <laughs> in quite a bit of pain. Um, thought I'd mention that because I think you may have even heard in the video uh, when I was out at the Mustang, I mentioned that my back was hurting and it was hurting pretty bad. Well, on Saturday we did $117, uh, and on um, Sunday we did 463 which is pretty dang amazing. Uh, so that's like four, $580 for the weekend, which is absolutely awesome. It was really cool going to see Scott uh, Sunday morning over at the Wagon Wheel Flea Market. Guys, again, I should hopefully be in his video uh, when it comes out on Wednesday. Um, and again, I'm sorry I didn't film any uh, footage over there of him and Aaron. Um, I just for completely forgot while I was over there. Well, guys, and oh, almost forgot, Scott, this is for you. And thanks again, guys.